Yeah, g'day viewers. Would like to show you a couple of vintage instruments I've recently scored. Yeah, this one here is a Hewlett Packard frequency counter. Uses Nixie tubes for the readout. 12.5 megahertz. Unfortunately, the covers on this instrument were missing when I got it. So I have to see if I can make something up. And also, I replaced the power entry socket. This is the old one. Didn't have a plug for it, so just put a standard IEC style uh, socket on that one. And the other instrument I got. It's a uh, Decatron cycle counter. And I think this would have been probably from the 1950s. Don't know who it's made by, but I think it could be Australian made, but I'm not too sure. We'll have a look at that one too in a minute. I'll put a frequency into the instrument to see how it goes, and I'll just compare it with a fluke multimeter. So there we are, straight away. It's displaying 500.5 kilohertz and a fluke very quick didn't take very long at all to grab a reading where's the meter here just start a here it goes letting it count up Five oh five point one five two and this instrument will take a sample sort of periodically. Yeah, I like how it sort of runs up the reading. This unit has a pair of Decatrons Z303Cs I think they are the same as the GC10B Neon Field I think this instrument would have been made from the 1950s No circuit boards, just point to point wiring couple of germanium diodes in the mix down there and I think that Hewlett Packard was that would be definitely from the 1970s and I think Having a bit of a guess, but I think this instrument would have been used as a radiation counter in its uh, original time.
Well, thanks for watching viewers and we'll catch you next time.